What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Outs TV. This is your boy, Jal. Let's talk about it real quick. So there's a young white Caucasian woman that's claiming that she was with Pop Smoke on the night that he was murdered. And she also wants to expose Mikey D. For those of you that don't know who Mikey D is, that's Pop Smoke's best friend. They came up since the sandbox days, man. And um, she wants to tell it all. So I'm definitely going to attach the video where DJ Academics is explaining the whole situation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. There's a young woman who was in the fucking house when Pop Smoke died. She's been trying to get her. I don't know what, what her thing is. It's a Caucasian woman. This is her right here. Okay. She says she's been haunted by the death of Pop Smoke. And she wants to get her story out. She's messaged me before. I like to me, like I, I like I don't know why I didn't hear this before when he died, but recently. And look, you interesting, right? So she says, "Yo, February 19, twenty twenty was the worst day of my life. It's changed my life forever." Everybody asks, "Who is this girl in the white covers and why she keeps quiet?" First year, I was honestly in shock. My depression hit me so bad I was crying all the time. I tried suicide. That's all I remembered. In 2021, I started to get sick often because I was stressed out. My body just shut down. Blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. Stop living over and over. It's the worst, worst day of my life. Okay. She continued um, because she said, oh, this Google translator, my English is not as bad as possible. My friend helped me with this. She says, um, okay. This is her story. She says, I cry every day over a person that got killed two years ago. December 15, I met him on, uh, um, December 15, I met him on February 19. I saw how he got killed in front of my eyes. I was the last person who saw him alive. I'm, I'm heartbroken for the first time in my life seeing someone die. It happened in an Airbnb house. All of a sudden, the balcony door opened and I saw a man with a gun. By the way, this young woman, I hope she spoke to the cops. By the way, for all you young ladies or, you know, individuals who, you know, I see this with young ladies a lot when they claim a famous celebrity or someone who's in position of power did them wrong. They run to the blogs. But sometimes y'all are telling us things that are criminal. Y'all should go to the police. Like what this is, is a fucking statement. And you, if you didn't go to the cops, you're cloud chasing. So you need to, what I'm reading this right now, but I hope this person went to the police. And I hope they said this plus a lot more because we can't do anything. What do you want us to do? Shame the guy or shame whoever you're trying to like accuse. Anyway, they said there was, there were three guy. Uh, there were four guys. Three of them were wearing black masks. So I couldn't see their faces. One was without a mask. He run to me and he put a gun to my head. He said, bitch, shut up or I will kill you. I was in bed. I, he took my bag with my passport in it and my phone. Three of them ran to pop and got him out the bathroom. I remember how he screamed, what? We looked each other in his eyes and didn't understand what was happening. We were so scared. At that moment, I heard a shot and I saw how Pop fell on the floor. I closed my eyes and thought I would be next. I was very scared. I thought my life, I thought my life, hold on, let me scroll up here. I, um, yeah, I closed my eyes and I thought I would be next. I was very scared. I thought my life would end now and my mother would never see me again then i opened my eyes one of them hit one of them hit him with his shoes in the head and said bitch they put a gun right in his heart i remember how he jumped up and ran wait i remember how he jumped up and ran down they all ran after him and then i heard two more shots and then after that it got quiet i ran to the bathroom so i could stay safe and i run downstairs and i saw pop laying on the floor I didn't feel his pulse. I couldn't call 911 because my phone was stolen. When I wanted to run to the neighbors and ask for help, I heard a noise. I thought that they were back to kill me. I hid behind the door, but it was Mike. I said, said to him, call 911. All the news that he was naked in the shower is a lie. I didn't tell the detective this information. They didn't tell him anything about money. They came quickly, killed him, and ran. She then followed up with another post. And this is, she's going at the guy, Mike. He says this, Mike, you are so fake. I'm sure you're involved in what happened. Your reaction and everything that night was so weird. When we were on our way home, you were nervous. You were texting someone the whole time. When we got home, you were talking to someone on the phone. 
maybe you will tell everyone the truth. Who is that black woman who did set up? Who are the people involved in this murder? You know everything. I saw everything. When Pop was talking to someone on the phone, you went to look out the window. I remember how you looked out the window and wrote to someone. It is from this window that you can see the stairs along which they climbed to the second floor. Two rooms overlook this balcony, and I wonder how they knew which room to go in. I'm sure, Mike, that it was you who gave them the information. How did they know that we had no weapons and security? You saw them and did nothing, and you had a chance to save us, but you did nothing. All these two years, I wanted to tell you that I hate you. You ruined my life with these people. A few minutes before the murder, you went outside and turned on the alarm. Hmm? Turned on or off? You turned on the alarm, and maybe that's how you gave them a signal. Prison is waiting for you, and it's in inevitable. Detectives are sure that someone from the house was in control of the situation. Tell everyone the truth, what it is, an inside job. Tell all his friends who was involved in his death because they are now still free. Fake bitch, I hate you. Burn in hell. You thought I would be silent. I'm not going to be silent anymore. I will never forgive you for all the words that you said to me that night. Again, it's very interesting. She's speaking two years after the fact. Two years. Um, she then posted this video. And she said, listen, I'm so proud about you, Pop. Still remember your smile, your laughter. You are a wonderful person. You are a gentleman, a romantic gangster. I will never forget you. My heart is broken, and I'll probably live all my life with this pain. Thank you for coming to me in my dreams and telling me to be strong. I'm going to just stop there. 